I'm Laura Agia, I'm a PhD student um, at Queen's University and as part of my PhD project I'm working with the Prisons Memory Archive which is an oral history um, project about the Maze and Long Cash Prison and Armour Jail and in my PhD research I'm looking at collaboration about editing um, collaboratively with participants, with the people that were filmed so, and I'm, I'm originally a journalist um, really fed up with my own profession, so, yeah. Well, I found out about Belfast Exposed through my projects, through the Prisons Memory Archive, which um, held an exhibition last year here, so that's how I found out. So, since I arrived in Belfast, I've been coming to, to the events. I think today was very useful to think of, um, to get into a new project, for example, uh, Eugene's project. I, I knew it before, but today I think I could go a bit much further into the whole um, collaboration process. I think it was very useful to know her project, to know also about other projects, um, Brendan and Peter's, you know, work. Um, and again, the, I was part of the third, the third workshop, and we had very interesting discussions about funders, about artists, and um, the aspirations of both, you know, um, groups. Um, but in the end, there is just one small thing that I really missed in the whole discussion, which was the what happens when all of these projects end, what happens when the funding ends, you know, what happens to the participants themselves, you know. So this is a thing that I, I thought it was a bit forgotten, or maybe we just didn't have time to get to the point of the post uh, collaboration, you know, um, uh, of, of the projects. Maybe we focus too much in the pre and in the process itself. But um, I still found it extremely useful and I think I got a lot of good um, ideas and thoughts that I'm going to apply to my, my own PhD research and also to the project I'm working with.